Hello everyone, I'm Dr. X. Welcome back to my channel. We have talked about four pirates puzzle and how to make smart decisions while applying game theory in real life. Today we'll talk about Nash Equilibrium through another game, Traveler's Dilemma. Let's say there are two travelers, Tom and Jerry. They each have a suitcase, which happens to be identical and contain exactly the same antics. Tom and Jerry take a flight, and the airline loses their suitcase. And the airline manager texts to settle the claim of both travelers explain that the airline is liable for a maximum of $100 per suitcase. To determine an honest appraised value of the antics, the manager separates both travelers so they can confer and then ask them to write down the amount of their value at no less than $2 and no more than $100. If both write down the same number, airline will treat that number as the true dollar value of both suitcases and reimburse both travelers that amount. However, if one writes down a smaller number than the other, the smaller number will be taken as the true dollar value and both travelers will receive that amount along with a bonus or punishment. $2 extra will be paid to the traveler who wrote down the lower value and $2 deduction will be taken from the person who wrote down the higher value. Assume that Tom and Jerry attempt to maximize their own payoff. If you are one of them, what strategy would you take? Obviously, everyone wants to receive the maximum of $100 compensation. For example, let's assume that Tom writes down $100. For Jerry, he will also receive 100 if he writes down 100 as well. But if Jerry writes 99, his value is lower than Tom's and will then be taken as the true value. In this way, Jerry will get a $2 bonus and get 101 in total as the compensation. On the contrary, Tom will receive a deduction of 2 with a total of 97. So between the choice of writing down 100 or 99, Jerry will write 99. But being in an identical position of Jerry, Tom thinks in exactly the same way as Jerry, thus he knows that Jerry will write $99. So Tom changed his mind and decides to write 98. Because if Jerry wrote 99, he will receive 98 plus 2 as his quote is lower than Jerry's. The cycle of thoughts continues until both finally decide to quote just $2, the minimum permissible price. Claiming $2 is the Nash Equilibrium strategy in this game. Nash Equilibrium is a concept of game theory where the optimal outcome of a game is one where no player has an incentive to deviate from his chosen strategy after considering an opponent's choice. However, it does sound ridiculous to most people. If travelers can receive more than $90, why do they quote just $2? Economists who questioned this theory conducted the experiment, where most participants select value much higher than the Nash equilibrium and closer to $100. But they also admit that they did not think about this problem seriously when doing the experiment, because $2 is way smaller compared to $100. Then economists did another experiment, this time, they use $50 instead of that $2 bonus or punishment. That is, participants who quote a lower value can get a 50 bonus, and the other one with a higher quote will receive a 50 fine. In the new experiment, let's assume Jerry quote $49 and Tom quote 48 the lower value 48 will be taken as the true value and they will both get paid by 48. In the meantime, Tom will get 50's bonus and Jerry will get a fine of 50. So Jerry cannot receive a single penny but also need to pay $2 to the airline. On the contrary, Tom will get a total of $98. This is not the worst scenario for Jerry. What if Tom only quote $2? Then 2 will be taken as the true value and Jerry will have to pay the airline 50 minus 2 equal to $48. The new experiment result shows that most participants write down $2 this time. 
This result implies that when the rewards and punishment have increased, people will be more cautious and act more rationally, and their strategy is closer to the Nash equilibrium. After understanding travelers' dilemma and its Nash equilibrium, can you think of any application of it in real life? A real application is when people line up to buy something in high demand. It can be train tickets, a new iPhone, or recently facial masks. For example, the new iPhone starts to be on sale at eight o'clock tomorrow. Then you should be able to buy it after eight o'clock. However, there might not be enough devices in store, so you have a twenty percent chance to get it today if you come to store after eight o'clock. But if you arrive one minute earlier, then you will be able to buy it for sure. Okay, it's a typical traveler's dilemma now. First, A thinks he can arrive at the store at eight o'clock. Then B thinks if A arrives at eight o'clock, he can get there earlier and have a hundred percent chance to get an iPhone. So he will arrive to store at seven fifty nine. Similarly. C thinks people will arrive at seven fifty nine. He has to get there even earlier, like seven fifty eight. This cycle of thoughts continues, and the end result is that people will line up much earlier than eight o'clock, or even the night before the sales day. Game theory is a science of strategy. Sometimes it can help us to make a smart decision in real life. If you like my video, welcome to subscribe, thumbs up, and share it with your friends. I'm Dr. X. See you next time.